Hello friends. I hope y'all are doing fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm downstairs and it's always trippy to get my phone in just the right orientation to talk to you guys. I'm super excited about today. Today. Today is the day that the brand new catalog is available for purchase. So I don't know if you've heard, but Stampin' Up! has a new annual catalog and it is chock full of gorgeous things. It's been a long day because I was just really ready to, to put my order in right on time this morning and the website crashed because it was overloaded with too many excited customers. Um, so I was able to eventually get my order in and it's perfectly fine now. Um, should we not have any trouble getting your orders in? So, um, let's get started. We have a lot to cover. So we're going to be, thank you, Terry. I appreciate, um, yeah, I appreciate you sharing the video. That helps me a lot. So, like I said, today the catalog is live, so I hope that you have a wish list started. I hope that you have fulfilled some of your wish list already. Um, I just want to normalize you and let you know that it's okay to have a long wish list. And I'm obviously not ordering all this, but this is my wish list, okay? I like to basically go through the entire catalog and write down everything I would ever want, okay? And then I give it a letter grade, A through C. And A, like A plus means have to have it. Um, and I'll just tell you what was on my A plus list. The kits are always number one on my A plus, li a plus list because I love, love kits, especially right now when we're stuck at home and just like not in our usual patterns. We like something that's like a mindless crafting activity. Um, I had also on my list were the Pets Suite, and we'll see that in a second, and the Whale Suite. So that those were two that I had to have. Basically anything that had to do with in colors, ink pads, ribbons, papers, designer papers, all of the in color stuff was number one on my list. I love the designer series papers. Just saying. That was definitely top up there. Um, the rainbow foil. Uh, I can't even. It was definitely on my list. Um, and the new adhesives. So we have Stampin' Seal and Stampin' Seal Plus. I could not order the Stampin' Seal Plus. I don't know what the deal is. I emailed. Um, demonstrator support to see what they could tell me. All right, so, but let's talk about some important things. Number one, it's already awesome that we have a new catalog, but Stampin' Up! wants to make it even more awesome. And what they are doing is during the month of June, if you spend 250 on your order or you gather $250 worth of orders, so you and your friends get together and have a little party, then you will get an extra $25 in Stampin' Rewards. Now, Stampin' Rewards is basically just free stuff that you get. It's also what we used to call host rewards, but um, it's just free stuff. So after you're finished with your order and you get to the end, it says you have earned $25 Stampin' Rewards. Would you like to redeem them? And you can't like carry them over, so you have to spend them. So it's basically free stuff. Um, and the more you spend, the more you earn. Now, also, if you spend $300, you get $30 in extra Stampin' Rewards. Now, just to add this up, for a $250 order, you already get $25 in Stampin' Rewards. You're going to get a $25 more. So, that means you'll have $50. And for a $300 order, you would get um, about $300. And, I mean, I'm sorry, about $63 is what you would get total. So, that's free stuff, okay? If you're a happy shopper you're already getting your 20 to 25% off, which is awesome, but you get the Stampin' the Rewards on top of that. Also, don't forget if you really are feeling like treating yourself, 
then you can up your order to 450 and you get a half priced item. So don't forget about those half priced items. Um, if you don't have a catalog yet, make sure and drop me an email or a Facebook message and say, I need a catalog. Um, send, pop me your email and your, your address too, so I'll be able to get that to you. I did email out a PDF of the catalog today, so if you don't get my emails, you need to message me your email address so that I can get you on my list. Um, I also in my email included uh, a new wish list with the misty moonlight colors and some in color charts. So some comparisons and some ideas of how to use the in color. So you definitely want to get on my list. Now, the other exciting thing going on right now is if you get a Stampin' Up! starter kit in the month of June, then you will get to choose any bundle. A bundle is a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and dies. So that's like a can be like a fifty dollar um, value for free. It's already one twenty five for ninety nine and no shipping. So add a bundle. Hello, time to join if you're not already. All right, let's see. Okay, let's walk through the catalog. I'm going to show you samples as we go from the catalog. I'm also going to try to catch the things that are on back order or low inventory. I'll go ahead and talk about that. So we, obviously COVID, so one word, um, that has really mangled a lot in, with our shipping. There's lots of facets. There's the people that make the products that go into the products that Stampin' Up! makes. There's getting that to Stampin' Up! There's Stampin' Up! making the products, and then there's Stampin' Up! packaging the products and shipping the products. So there's multiple factors at play, and COVID has wreaked havoc on all of them. So there's a, quite a few items on back order or low inventory. There's nothing that's just like, oh, I'm dying. But um, I just want you to be aware because if there's something that you really love, don't say, well, I'll put the order in this weekend um, because it's probably you might risk that thing that you really loved going on back order. So go ahead and take the plunge and get your order in now. Okay, and at the end, I'm going to make a gorgeous card. I will show you the card that I'm going to make at the end in case you didn't see my post. This is the card that I'm going to make at the end. It's actually pretty easy and um, gorgeous, so stick around to the end so you can see that. Now I'm going to um, shift you over to my camera in the sky. Let me pull it out. Adjust. Pointing it down. Now I also want to see if I can zoom in good as far to this catalog as I can. Let's see. That's probably going to get me... Yep, I've got it as tight as I can on that catalog. Hopefully, at least that's what it shows through my screen. And I'm going to make sure and pull up my laptop here so possibly I can see, see you guys. Um, I can see your comments here on my laptop, so just hang tight. Hey, Jennifer Griffin. I've got Chris, Jennifer, Terry, Crystal, um, Patience, Susie. So happy to see you guys. I'm just pulling this up on my computer over here so that by chance I could see your comments as I'm going. So let me refresh. See if that will work here. There I am. Okay. So comments. Very good. 
going to go ahead and share this to my team page and to my um, club page so that everybody will see. Oh, you know what? I'll do that later. That's going to take too long. Y'all are being patient. Okay. I'll do that afterwards. Um, okay. I think I have my comments here. Okay. Yay. I think this is working. Hey, Crystal Clay. All right. Now let's just pray that the um, Facebook Live feed doesn't go down, which is what happened last week. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for, the new catalog. So, gorgeous cover. You'll notice that I have a spiral bound catalog. This is a special uh, perk of being in my stamp technique club. So spoiler alert, if you're in my technique club, you're getting this this weekend, but it's nice. It's sturdy and lays flat easily, which is good for you tonight on this video. So you can see all the good things. Now, this is probably the page that I use the most because it tells me where all the sweets are. So a suite is a collection of coordinated products. And this is where I suggest that people start. So if you're brand new and you're like, I don't know what to do, then pick your favorite suite and work your way out from there. So we'll, we'll get to the sweets and things here. Um, this just talks to you about some different types of um, techniques that you can do. We have red cling stamps and see-through stamps called photopolymer stamps. All right. We, no one matches, no one can beat our color coordination. Stampin' Up! is the best. We have punches and dies. And my very favorite part of the catalog is kits. All right. So Paper Pumpkin is a fantastic kit right now. It comes in your mailbox, so you don't even have to think about it. It just comes every month. And it's like a crafting load of happiness. Um, it's wonderful right now. It's just something to lift your spirits. We have an all-inclusive citrus kit. It's gorgeous. This is a kit that we still have. I'm very happy because it's a great one at a good price point. This is a more florally, stately kit that I also love. It'll be very popular. Um, this one is a project kit, so it tells you what inks and things you, and you need and a stamp set that goes with it. This kit is all-inclusive, so it includes the ink and the stamps, okay? $32, which is a great price point for 15 cards. This kit has the papers for $32. It's more involved, but then you add this on, so it's, it's more of a project. And you could get your friends together, and we can have a party and make this, or we can have a party and make this. So either one is awesome. We can do that on Zoom um, and maybe soon, maybe we can meet live. We'll see. We have a new product medley called Boho Indigo, which is gorgeous with the, um, the new Misty Moonlight. Now, super, our first suite, flowers for every season. Fantastic. It's got all the new end colors, which are stunning. And we've got um, two stamp sets, a whole set of paper, all of the end colors, and this stamp set goes for all seasons. So why wouldn't this be number one on your list? Okay, it's fantastic. There's one stamp set that has um, a punch that goes with it, and there's one stamp set that has sunflowers with sunflower dyes. And there's also some embossing folders that kind of not, they're not in the suite, but they, they kind of go. You can use them with it. Um, so you want to get that whole suite. And it's a double, We call I call it like a mega suite. And so remember on our suites, there's one item number, 154, 132, and you can get the whole suite for 180.50, okay? So big suite, fresh off the bat. This is the first one that I purchased, all the, uh, all the new in colors, okay? Um, we're just going to flip past the, the stamp sets that aren't new. We're only looking for new ones. Now, you'll notice that there it's new when there's a little red star. So if you're curious of what's new and you're flipping through, uh, Terry, I know, isn't it awesome? Then look for the red in. The Lovely You set. Oh, I already skipped. I already missed my, um, uh, what do you call them? Samples that I was going to show you. Let's get to the back to the sunflowers. This is a, a card that I received in a swap 
that we did, I did with my team. It's called a catalog case swap, and we case things from the catalog. So um, that's one of our first ones. I'm just kind of laying these out here so I'll be ready. Here is the other card that was received by me from that suite. So fantastic. Love them. All right. But on to our uh, lovely you. Now, this is a catalog case. I haven't even barely puffed it up yet. It came from my friend Sandy Reese. It's gorgeous. And um, she participated in this swap with me. Anywho, love it. And it's got the best punch ever that makes these little doohickeys. You're going to need that one. All right, World of Good love especially right now for um, the season of masculine cards I do tend to make more this time of year with Father's Day I'll tell you the the world of goods designer series paper is already on back order it says right now it will arrive June 29th let's hope it arrives sooner we will see but I'll show you some um, projects made with the world of goods suite these were alternative projects that I made for my bingo class this weekend. Um, we have a cute little card that I made for a swap. This is a catalog case swap that I got from Cassandra. And then one more card that I made. So lots of gorgeousness there. All right. It's actually a pretty affordable suite, $154,140, and it's $104. So this would be one that you could put on your starter kit. Now, just because the paper's on back order doesn't mean you can't buy it. In fact, I would go ahead and purchase it now because you're going to get in line to get this paper when it comes off back order first. Okay? So don't be scared away by back order. Let that remind you that that's what you need to go ahead and, and get, get in line for, so to speak. Because that's what happens. You just get in a lineup for it and you get it when it's there. Um, this is a cute stamp set for people that love games. It's very popular. I've already had a couple people purchase it today. We have this cute set. This is already on back order. That just tells you that this is a set that we've always needed and we've never had about whiskey. So it's, it's to be determined because it just went on back order. I don't really know. I'm sure tomorrow they'll update us and let us know when that's going to be off back order. Uh, the right triangle. Love it. It's triangle stamps, but more importantly, um, stitched triangle dies. So in case you thought you had all of the stitched dies, stitch circles. Well, I'm not even going to go through them. You know how many stitched dies there are because I have them all. Um, now there's triangles. Okay. Today's tiles is really neat. Like these layer inside of each other. This will obviously be a great stamp set to use with the Stamparatus. And then you've got these cute little dills and these. I just think it's quite unique. It's not something that you see, that you see a bunch of. It's, it's a very unique stamp set for stamping up and just cool. Cool though. I don't recognize that stamp set, but I guess it's not new. Hmm. Playful Pets. A wonderful suite. Dying. I'm going to tell you, the stamp set and the dies are already on back order. So if this is on your must-have list, you need to get it. You need to get on the computer tonight and order it. Um, I am not surprised. It is super popular because people love their pets. I mean, look, this guy has a cone of shame. Oh my gosh. We'll definitely be using this in one of my classes, no doubt. Um, so go ahead and get that on your list if you don't already have it. Mini Mates is a stamp set that I used for my card class last week. It's got lots of, this is one of the most versatile sets in the catalog, and I used it to showcase our in colors with my card class last week. So if you didn't see that, you can scroll around my Facebook page here and you can see those cards being made. But lo love that and the dies that go with it. 
super, super cool. All right, we have this so much happy is neat because it, like the die cuts through the paper like that and and that goes through, I don't know, I just think it's cool. I think it's a real neat something that we've never really had before. Um, and then there's another, a, another stamp set that matches the umbrella punch called Pretty Parasol. So that'll be, that'll be popular for our umbrella lovers. I can see Elizabeth Hart probably already has this set and is coloring it right now. Love it. We all need to go to the beach right now. Six feet apart, of course. Um, we have Framed For You, which is a cool set that is created by one of the million dollar sellers, Terry Gaines. She's one of my favorites. But look, you can take your favorite stamp set and frame it. She's framed Waterfront here. So you basically can use the frame with um, anything. And it coordinates with our layering squares so you can stamp it and then cut it out with the squares. Very clever, Terry. We have Basket of Blooms, which is a new set that goes with our punch. Hippo Happiness, Robin Carden hit it out of the ballpark with hippos and unicorns and, and the matching die. Plus, these dies that are in here are fantastic, so don't, don't snooze on that one because I also feel like that's gonna be a very, very popular one. I love this. We'll be using this in our card ministry at church. His love, the hands, the crosses, gorgeous. This is what we're going to use tonight called Blossoms in Bloom. Your dies are going to cut out two layers of um, flowers, and then you've got a stamp set that you can even use to stamp under that. And even this little card over here uses just the stamp set alone, which is quite, quite beautiful. All right, we have monogrammed messages with cute little words. You can make all kinds of cards here. Celebration of tags, remember our tags dies that we had in the holiday catalog? Yes, ma'am. We have a gorgeous floral set um, with some really neat sentiments called So Much Love. Zoo Globe. This was on actually on my A plus list because I already have the snow globe dies and I, I love it. It's two animals in a globe. What's not to love about that? I just dying. This these cards go with this over here. Borders. Um, yes, Patience needs it because it has her letter in it. But look at these cards made with the borders abound. Super cute. Super cute. All right, we are gonna continue along. It's just fun to see all the new stuff. I appreciate y'all hanging in there. We already know Ornate Garden. It's stunning and beautiful. If you haven't heard about it, you've been under a rock for the last month or two because we have, this was our pre-order and we were able to use it and we used it and we used it and we used it. So if you don't have it yet, get it. But um, I think most of y'all have had it and seen it. So, but it's wonderful. Okay. Flowering Blooms. This is a distinctive stamp set. So it's got this like really cool, um, oh, like layering look when you stamp with it. And y'all, it's one of those sets that I'm probably like initially gonna be like, yeah, I don't have to have that. And as soon as I see a card made with it, this always happens with this distinctive stamps, then I have to get it. All right, round of applause. Someone was just telling me, um, Charlotte was telling me she does not have a graduation set. So this is a great graduation set, but plus all kinds of other wonderful things here. So we like to celebrate people, but especially right now with graduation. Okie dokie, we're rolling on through. Everyone needs a good thank you set. And these are adorable. It's a hug with a fold in the middle. This isn't just a thank you card. It's a hug with a fold in the middle. Little card, massive thank you. Thank you message on the cover may actually, may appear smaller than the actual gratitude. Isn't that cute? So cute. Now, this is, this, this is the, the puzzle of the catalog for me. I love everything about this stamp set. I really love the fonts. 
And honestly, um, I would probably buy it just for this, the fonts. And I love the pair, but what is up with the artichoke? That is all I have to say. Someone tell me when is the last time you received an artichoke card? All right, I've already had a couple people purchase this very popular set. It's gonna be popular, posted for you. It has a punch that goes with it, that punches these things out. That's all I need to say about that. Any bundle that comes with a punch is gonna be on my list. Peony Garden. I have to tell you, my favorite thing about this suite is this ribbon. It is like gray granite and it's shiny and these embellishments and these uh, everything and the papers, the colors, all of it. Now, I'm a little overdosed on flowers right now, so I'll probably be using this in the spring next year, but it is gorgeous, and I've definitely already got these three embellishments on my list that I put in today, because that's my favorite part about it. And I've, I'll get the paper, because I love the papers. I just have to have all the papers. The prized peony is a stamp set that goes with the um, suite. And this is a great suite. It's $97.50, so that would be a perfect suite to put on your starter kit. It, you could still get over um, $25 more worth of stuff on your starter kit with that. Alrighty, let's keep rolling. I see uh, Comfort and Hope is a new set. I have a stamp set using that, uh, a card using that, sorry. Oh, I missed a bunch of cards. I'm going to have to re rewind. But this is a great uh, set with some comfort, hope, sentiments that you can use, plus a lot of neat textures. That's cool. Um, backtracking to, well, I'll talk about that when I do our demonstration. So how about I put that aside? Okay, so I haven't missed anything. We're good. False alarm. Now, one of my favorite people in Stampin' Up! is Rhonda Wade. I don't know if you know her, but if you know her, you love her. She is fantastic. She runs a training program that um, I just, her, her encouragement and her mind is so um, business driven, but she has such a gorgeous Christian heart. She is a million dollar seller and she re, um, designed this set, which I think is phenomenal you are my I mean I, I can't even talk about how much I love this set and it is ridiculously awesome Terry I love the peonies as much as the magnolia they are going to be so pretty to color for sure but I hope you all buy this set because she's the best and then we have Connie how can we even put these two people on the same page they're both fantastic and Connie I'll never forget one of her um one of her presentations she did at on stage was about um, cookies, and so this will help me remember that. But um, it's about chocolate cookies, coffee, cocktails. What's not to love about that? And it has a matching set of dyes, so you definitely need that one. Oh, we need these critters. I could color these to the end of days from all of us. <gasps> the whales. This is perfect right now for summer. This was actually this one of the sweets that I put on my list today. Um, I love the colors, coral, bumblebee, granny, apple, jade, pool party, Pacific point, and blackberry bliss. And the sentiments are something that you might not notice because you would just be so taken by all of the stuff. You're kind of a big deal, well done, thanks a ton, hoping all your birthday fishes come true. My love for you is bigger than the ocean. So, um, really cute. You could go adult cards. You could go children's cards. You can go girls, boys. So, you will be seeing this suite in some classes this summer. A grand kid. So many of my um, customers are grandparents. And I'm thrilled about this um, stamp. This card made by Dana Hobby using the A Grand Kid stamp set. So if you're a grandparent, you definitely want to put that on your list. Or not. It's so cute either way. Um, a little cute boy set. There's so many cute. There's not a ton of cute boy 
sets. And so you've got the dinos, but now you've got some transportation sets, which are cute. You know I love this. I love bright, bold patterns. But what's the best thing about this suite, in my opinion, are these letter number dies. So the letter number dies are later. But they are part of the suite. So let's, and, and the paper is a six by six paper with 48 sheets, okay? And the colors are great. Coral, curry, cabana, navy, and posy. But the stamp set, all of these wonderful textures and the dies, letters, and numbers, the stamp set and the dies are $45. So gone are the days when our letters and numbers were outrageously expensive. This is a very affordable set. I would go ahead and just get the whole suite. $82.50 for $154.137 as the item number. We got a cool birthday set. I'm digging that for sure. Zebras and goats. Have to have them both. This is a cute set too. So this is a great set for, this is our, our new stamper area. So um, beginning stampers and they are all super cute. We have this cute little retirement people. Oh my gosh, they are so hilarious. Look, she's even got earrings on. Isn't that clever? Now, this is a set, I'm like a, I saw a Facebook Live with my friend Erica Serwin today, and she talked about how this set was like, eh, she just kind of thumbed past it the first time, but it was on our pre-order, and there were only four things on our pre-order, so she and I, um, I laughed because she said she ordered it anyway, even though she didn't like it, as did I, and um, I, I love it, okay, I love it. The stamps are distinctive, so that gets me every time. The font is gorgeous, and the paper is outstanding. All the greens together, garden green, pear pizzazz, just jade, pretty peacock, shaded spruce, and soft sea foam. Look at all of the projects I have even so far. So Cindy Griffin made this. She's so talented. I think this was a, I don't even know what that, where that came from. If that was Cindy that made that, I don't, I don't know. It may have been from the catalog. Let's see, we have a, hmm, I'm confused by that. This was made by um, Karen Day, gorgeous, for our swap that we did. Cindy made me this, she just made me this to be sweet. Is that not the sweetest? I've got two of these, you don't need to see them both. I made this for a swap, I just thought it was a really gorgeous way to showcase the stamps and this new, um, ribbon that goes with it and then I made this for a swap so I just I didn't think I had to have it and dang it if I had if it's one of my favorite things now that just happens you you see something and you're like eh I don't see any colors and then you start seeing projects and it's number one on your wish list so and that's a really cute it's got these great set of dies that just go on for days with things that you can cut and add on to your projects Sending Sunshine is in the same family as things like Waterfront, all those pretty things. We have all these pretty um, people sets that really speak to some people. I wouldn't say they're top on my list, but I do think they're quite popular um, sets for some. All right, let's see. We have Field of Flowers, which comes with a punch that like the stamp set itself is cool but you've also got this punch that you can use to make like confetti or shaker cards or things like that so it's awesome Let's get my light shining here okay y'all we're about halfway through i'm gonna start going fast birds and dies to cut out birds there's nothing better than birds really um all Things Fabulous. I honestly haven't even really studied that. Oh, it's a two-step stamping set, which is always a good deal. And dies that match. Look at that. Ooh-wee. 
that is nice. All right, In Good Taste is another set that initially you're kind of like, what? But first of all, you're looking at tons of gorgeous neutral paper, which is like I could use that for every class. And then dang it if Patience Holt, who hopefully is still on here, didn't make all of these gorgeous cards. She did a one sheet wonder and y'all just, just buckle up because they are outstanding. She is just, she made me so pleased that I had already bought this suite and made me realize that I would definitely be using it in classes. So I appreciate her giving me, she made these and just gave them to me. Is that not outstanding? I have the best team members. I'm just saying, you may think you do, but I'm sorry, I do. Thank you. Aren't, aren't those gorgeous? So, um, lots of neutrals that you can pop up with different, um, different like colors. Petal pink is a color that runs through there. And you can see she's got the old olive in there. So lots of goodness there. And, and the, the highlight of this suite, in my opinion, also are the dies. And so you can't see them very well here. I'll show them to you later. But those are some of the best dies in the catalog. All right, the wreath is super neat. It's an all season stamp set, obviously. You're gonna be able to cut out wreaths and then either decorate them with hearts, sunflowers, Eastery. You've got the dies that go with it that cuts out the wreaths. I didn't even have that on my list. Hello, it's gonna be on my list now. Fancy phrases. I love the mixed fonts and the flowers to color in. Tina, I know, right? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, Patience said it was very easy, but I'm telling you, her brain is just works differently than mine. All right, Artistry Blooms, a very affordable set, $73. You know me, I love bright colors. So magenta, coral, mango melody, coastal cabana, granny apple, rich ravelry, gorgeous grape. Yes, love it all. So you are going to need this one if you're a Brights girl. Hand Drawn Blooms is a stamp that goes with it. And um, the paper is a 12 by 12 paper. Best year, all I have to say is Plaid Maker. So obviously these cards you could make, but think about Christmas. You could make plaid backgrounds until the end of days and grab this as a... Um, as a stamp set that goes with it, and think about it. You've got um, a, a, a Christmas, you can make Christmas plaid, hip hip hooray, whatever colors you want, thank you, whatever colors. Thankfulness, fall colors, happy birthday, whatever, masculine, doubt, see what I'm saying? So this, it's a re there's a reason why they have a versatile set with the plaid, because then you can just make all kinds of projects for different seasons. Stampin' Up! thinks of everything, y'all. Walk in the Woods. This card sold this set to me. Just that card. I was like, I have to make that card. Field Journal for your nature lovers. Queen Anne's Lace. There are so many gorgeous flowers, and I haven't seen a Queen Anne's Lace before. We love our textured stamps. Textured Essentials. You've got a palette set. Camouflage dry brush, and stacked sewn backgrounds. So a lot, three new backgrounds, which is awesome. Okay, y'all, we're getting there to, to the goodness. You'll see this whole spread is, is um, focuses on our end colors, but it also talks a little bit about the different things that are available in each color family. So pay attention to that. We have card stocks in every color, ink pads in every color, markers in every color, watercolor pencils with a lot of the colors. Designer paper includes the colors. A lot of the colors have stamping blends and then a lot of the colors have ribbon and trim and embellishments, okay? So there's a coordination. This is where Stampin' Up! is way better than the rest of the crafting world, all right? We have the coordination that cannot be matched. And look, this is new to me. All of the colors on one page. Forever, I'm like flipping back, flipping back to the end colors. They're all on one page now, which makes me so happy. And you've got cardstock, ink pads, ink refills, and now the blends are on this page. 
So before the blends had their own page, now they're right here with the color families, which I love. The new blend that's not in color is Melon Mambo, so make sure and pick that up. And then you've got blends with Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight. You don't have a Bumblebee blend, but you've got Saffron, Daffodil, Curry. You can get all around Bumblebee and coordinate with it very easily. Now, Stampin' Up! told us last year that not all colors can be made into blending markers. It's just something about the color and the blend. It just doesn't work. I need to explain this page to you because you might be confused and say, well, I don't understand why are there only bundles for the brights? But here's the thing. They're showing us all the bundles for the brights. But notice there's a code for brights. There's a code for neutrals, regals, subtles, and the end colors. Now, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this for you. If you're looking for all the new end colors, you're looking for the numbers that say 2020, 2022. And there's a red N new by it. So these are the things that you're looking for for the new stuff, okay? Here's the, so you're looking for 2020, 2022. And that's because these end colors are, um, are going to last until the 20, like, through this catalog and then the next annual catalog, okay? There's a marker assortment, which I think I missed that last time. I need to make sure and get that. So just wanna draw your attention to this. So you can get a mixture pack of the new in colors, okay? These are the new in colors. So your card stock will be these five colors. You can get 12 by 12 in these colors. You can get the designer paper, which is fantastic. The five ink pads are bundled at 10% off. So that's that's number one on my list today. And then you can get the ink refills. Um, I don't think you can bundle those for the end colors, but remember there is a limit of one per person on the refills for the end colors. Okay, now we have this kind of Pinteresty looking page, which you just kind of have to study it for a second to figure out where stuff is. So one goes with one, two goes with two, three goes with three, okay? None of this stuff is new. Um, we're just gonna go down and see. We have new aqua painters. They're called water painters, and they are, actually, sorry, I was covering up. They're over here, and it comes with three, and they're $12 for three, which is a good deal. And we're gonna use an aqua painter later. Not this one, because I don't have it yet. We have a, an assortment of Stampin' Spots, which is great for the beginner stamper. They're mostly brights, but here's a here's an, uh, regal snuck in there in gray. So that's cool. All the pretty papers. We've already talked about that. You know I have to have all the pretty papers. Remember, every year we have new designer series paper stacks. And I usually order them in multiples because... They go so fast, so make sure and see those. Remember, this is on back order. Go ahead and get in line for it. We have some new packaging. We have mini paper pumpkin boxes, new acetate boxes that will hold three by three cards. This is some um, laser cut specialty paper that you can cut up and just put in your projects as embellishments. This is really cool. Normally, the laser cut paper is fussy, but to make gold embellishments to put on cards, yes, you can sign me up for that. Um, velvet paper. That's all I need to say. Brass. Foil sheets, which goes with the um, in World of Good Suite. We have square vellum doilies, which are really cool. And rainbow glimmer paper, that's all I can say is I want all of it. I want the maximum amount of that. I just love rainbows. All right, these are great um, card bases and envelopes to use with these memories and more cards. You can make so many cards with an $11 pack of envelopes and $11 pack of cards. You don't even have to stamp. So if you want an easy, fun thing to do, this is your deal. You can also order them with these and save the pink and green for later because you can still use the um, these three colors with the World of Good Memories and more. 
We still have some albums and some memories and more plain envelopes if you want to use white envelopes. The new, um, the new embellishments are what are hit hardest for our back quarters. So the gold hoops which go with the greenery suite are, they're going to still be available on June 29th, but you need to go ahead and get those on your order. I'm not going to keep saying that. I'm just going to tell you when they're, when they come off back order. The butterfly gems are new, aren't they cute? And they are the last year's in color, so we know those are fantastic. I was happy to see these um, gold dots because they were with a special uh, Christmas suite that we had. Hey, Kathy, good to see you. Thanks for sharing. Everybody can share. That will help me tremendously. Um, we have corners and slides that goes with the world of good. Gilded gems, which are um, with the ornate garden. And then these elegant faceted gems goes with the peony garden. And don't forget these little guys, the resin dots that go with the playing with patterns. So you can see these are back ordered till June 29th and these are back ordered till June 29th. So go ahead and pop into the embellishments pages and get what you need um, now because you know they go fast, they always do. Flowers for every season, gems are on low inventory. In good taste elements and, sh and the mason jar shaker domes are um, back in action by June 29th. Now sometimes these numbers, these dates can change um, as time goes on. So we can hope that, and really that's not too far from now. So go ahead and get in line for that. The whale sequins, artistry bloom sequins. I love a good stick on sequin. Super easy. The little pet trinkets, y'all. Come on, they're so cute. And the end color dots are on the not orderable list, which means they're on super back order. So you can't order them right now. So just put them on your wish list and order those when they're available. The in color ribbons, Bumblebee and Cider are on not orderable. And then Jade, Magenta, and Misty Moonlight are back ordered till July the 13th. So I hope you got those on your order today. If not, get in line. We have um, a sheer pool party ribbon, which is lovely. Playful Pets trim. We've got a black and white. I'm going to use that black and white twine a bunch. And definitely this red at Christmas. Ornate Garden we've seen on some of our projects last, last time. This is my favorite ribbon, the gray granite ribbon. We have, I don't think there's anything else new in this page. Flowers for every season. This is on back order till July 13th. Forever Greenery also on back order till July 13th. Playing with Patterns has a posy, a navy, and a cabana ribbon, which I'm going to die for. Gingham, Bumblebee, all of it. I love it. Okay, y'all, new adhesives. We have a new adhesive that is replacing Snail. It's called Stamp and Seal, and then Stamp and Seal Plus. This is like Snail. The Stamp and Seal Plus is like the old Fast Fuse. It's in a runner. I wasn't able to get the Seal Plus, like I said, and it is a little bit higher on a price point than our stampin than our previous adhesives, but it's got a lot more in it. I can't remember what it is, but it's definitely gonna last longer because it's gonna go further. So don't be don't be tripped up by the price. Um, and you can get the refills of each, so that's awesome. We have adhesive sheets, which are great for intricate dyes. We have foam adhesive sheets that you can use behind things to lift them up. And then cling adhesive, which you can use to change your clear mount stamps to cling stamps. So if you want to go through and do that, that's, that's what that's for. All right. We have some new punches. Nothing new on this page. I can't believe there's nothing at all new on that, either one of those pages. But we have so many. We've seen these in the bundles, but the jar was in the flower bundle. The posted for you, the flowers. We have the whale. Another tag topper punch and a lovely labels punch. I would pick this one over this one if I had to choose a first one, but I'll probably end up getting that one too because I always end up getting all the punches. The embossing machines are not currently available, so good news. Put them on your list of things you're going to get later and spend more on the stuff that you need now. But look. That's so pretty. I haven't even noticed that that card. 
all right all the stuff that goes with it obviously is, is also not available so you're not it's not it's just not here yet it's coming but it's not here yet there was one of the dies I was going to show you up close it was the in good taste um and we'll see if I can see it. Oh, Tasteful Labels. Remember the one that was with the In Good Taste? I said I would show you that later. Loving it. All right, lots of dyes. Lots of dyes. We've already kind of seen. And then remember, oh, we have new embossing folders. We have greenery ones, detailed ones. Dainty Diamonds, Dandelions, some floral ones. The Old World Paper is crazy cool. It goes with the um, the Manly, the World of Good. Let me see if I can show you how cool that is. It makes your paper into Old World Paper. We're going to use this one. Uh, not subtle, sorry. We're going to use the Tasteful Textile tonight in our card. And then we've got our our host sets, which if your order, don't forget, if your order gets over 150, you're eligible for these stamp sets. And they're cheap. This one's only $13 and this one's only $12. And look how cute. It's got a little dog and puppy. All right. And don't forget your index if you're looking for stamp sets is here. And then your index if you're looking for other items is here. And wow, you guys made it through the whole catalog. I was not surprised that that took a while. So I've already done a lot of the things that, um, that I need to do to get ready for our card tonight. So it's going to come together quicker than you think. Are you ready? Hey, Sharon. Good to see you. Now, um, what, what, tell us, tell me while I'm getting my stuff out for the card, tell me what was number one. What is number one on your list? And if there's anything that wasn't on your list that is now, I would like to know about that too. All right. So we are making, I don't have a full card of this made yet. This is most of it. Um, but I haven't, I, I made it for swaps and I miscounted. So I had to send all of my cards. Um, the hippo dies does have more than animals. Kathy, you are so right. Definitely. Okay, so let me tell you a story about um, this this bundle. I was like, oh great, another flower bundle. I don't need it. And I saw this card, actually, let's pull out the card that we're making. I saw this card and I was like, yep, it's on my list. This card, just I just absolutely fell in love with it. All the papers, patience, and the end colors, definitely, definitely. Okay, so we're going to make this card. I don't have the little letter dies yet, so I just made it without the letter dies. To me, this the the showcase of it is the dies. And the stamps are actually only just um a little bit. It's uh there are there are some great stamps in this set, but the main showcase are these dies, okay? So these run through the big shot. I'm not going to do that tonight cuz we've been on here forever, but you're going to cut out an upper layer and a lower layer. Sometimes you can just cut out the lower layer. It doesn't matter. But you can you can see like they they cut out the lower layer was was like a pink color here, petal pink, and then they did a pretty peacock upper layer. Okay, so you can use just solid cardstock. But what I did here is I cut out watercolor. So I used the fluid 100 watercolor paper, okay? And I thought, oh, this is not going to work. It worked really easily. Um, thank you, Kathy. Um, so you cut out a sheet with this and a sheet with that. So go ahead and get a couple packs of this because you're going to want to make more than one um, of these cards. And I love that watercolor paper. Now, so you're going to cut out one of these and one of these with your big shot. Click, click, click. Didn't I do a great job cutting that out? Thank you. Um, and you're going to need a, a Whisper White card base. That's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. You're going to fold that over just like so. Have that guy ready. And then you're going to crankity crank crank your paper through the big shot and look. This 
regular Whisper white paper is now outstanding. This has got to be my, my most favorite embossing folder in the new catalog. I would have gone right by it had I not seen this card. And honestly, I looked up, we have, we have a recipe list for what is in the cards in the catalog. And, um, yeah, thanks patience. I've been practicing that all night. We have a recipe list for what's in the cards that are in the catalog. And I would not have known that that layer was there because I was so, um, stunned by the card itself that I didn't notice that background layer, but I think it makes it really pop. It's like, hey, if you're going to go to all this trouble, you may as well frame it like it's a painting. That's what kind of, that's what it made me think of, like this is like a canvas and this is on it. That's what it kind of made me think of. So we're just going to stick that down to our white base very simply using, I use glue dots when I've, um, when I've used, uh, a textury thing because it holds it down really well. So pretend like I put that down with glue dots. Bam. Awesome. Okay. But you know, that's not what you came to see. You came to see this part. All right. I've already painted this, but I'm just going to turn it over because I don't want to cut out another one. I kind of had, I made 10 of these. So I have a little bit of PTSD from this card. It was gorgeous and it's not that hard to make one, but to make 10 was a little, um, was a little insane. All right. So, and I actually listed one of the colors wrong here when I went upstairs and got my, um, my ink pads. I remembered that this, I did not use Pool Party. I used Cabana. Okay, Coastal Cabana. Sorry about that. I listed out everything that was used to make this card, but I also forgot the watercolor paper. So you're gonna need that too, okay? Um, all right, so let's get to work. What we're gonna start with is our Coastal Cabana. Now, something that I wouldn't have thought about that Stampin' Up! does a lot is they use blue for flowers. Now, don't we get tired of green for flowers? I'm sorry, I do, I do, I get tired of it. So we're gonna use the blue for these flowers. Now, actually, I remember now, we're gonna come back to the Coastal Cabana we're going to use, um, for this lower layer, we're going to use the Pacific Point, I'm sorry, the upper layer, we're going to use Pacific Point and Coastal. I'm mean, sorry, Bermuda Bay. Now, I, I did not color the back of this on my swaps. I'm just, I'm just doing this because I don't want to cut another one. So you're just going to get some water. You're going to fill your aqua painter with water and you're going to squeeze some water in there. Remember, you can't take away, but you can always add. So, and it's great to have a paper towel nearby. I don't, so you're just gonna get to see me struggle. Um, you're just gonna color the greenery with this, um, with the Bermuda, okay? Just the greenery parts. We're gonna go through here, color the greenery. And you don't have to be real careful about this because when you're done, it is so stunning. Like, it doesn't matter if you got, if you left a little white piece or whatever. Plus, it makes it a little bit more watercolory. Okay, now I think it's cool to come in and just get a little bit of the dark and just pop it in. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Now, to clean this, you would need a paper towel and you would go back and forth, back and forth. You know what, I'm gonna have to get a paper towel because I can't clean it otherwise. Let me see if I might have one, something of that nature in here. I don't. It's pretty cold. All right, I had everything but my water. Okay, well, we'll see what else I don't have yet. So you're just squeezing and brushing and that cleans it out, okay? Now what you're gonna do is come in with your Pacific Point. You're gonna get some water in there and then you're just gonna drip it on there, okay? And you're just, you're just dripping the Pacific Point in there to kinda pop up the color and that's it, leave it, okay? Leave that just like it is. Wipe your squeeze and swipe, and you're then it's clean. All right, put your big blues away. 
And then you're going to pull out your um, rich razzleberry, which, believe it or not, is going to be pretty pinky. So, I'm doing some rich razzleberry here. And basically, I'm going to color all but this flower with rich razzleberry. Okay. And I may have used Noah and Molly there because that is a little bit of a different color scheme. No, I think it is Razzleberry. I was shocked when I saw the, that Razzleberry. I thought it would be a lot darker, but it's really not. It's pretty light when you, when you water it down. So I'm just going through here, getting all this Razzleberry going. Dun, 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 dun. You have to sing just like that when you're doing it. I'm gonna leave these two for to be orange. Pumpkin pie, sorry. Just laying in this groundwork of color here. Don't be too fancy with it because it's gonna turn out gorgeous. And then that's it. Okay, and it's cool if those colors run together. That's perfectly okay. Like, don't get in your head about it. So we're going to squeeze and dab, squeeze and dab to get that color out. Okay. And now we're going to pop over to our pumpkin pie. And we're going to pop it in here. On my other one, I made this one rich razzleberry, but I'm going to make it pumpkin pie just because I don't want to get that clean again. All right, so we're, we're, our bottom layer is done. Okay, that's going to be over here drying. And I would let this dry on its own, but for the sake of time, I want to go ahead and dab that so that we can put this card together. So set this aside, but it's really pretty if you let that um, dry on its own. Just that is pretty enough right but we're going to take it up a notch because we're going to use our other little cutout and we're going to really get crazy with it so we are going to use poppy parade and that's going to go right in the middle of a lot of these flowers not all of them but a lot of them actually i think all of them have no nope, not all of them I'm looking okay I've got to get this out and kind of get it laid down we're gonna use this side that I already colored oh I forgot I went back in on some of these and laid in some darker of the rich razzleberry, so you can do that too if you want to go fussy with it. But um, let's go ahead and do that. Well, anyway, just pretend. Go in with your razzleberry. I ended up, this is my practice one. I did not use the poppy. It doesn't matter because this is going to get covered up anyway, okay? But um, I didn't use the poppy on this lower layer. I used it on this top layer. So on the flowers that are the purple, I'm going to go in with um, the um, well let's start let's do the let's do the ones that are orange first. So the orange flowers are definitely going to have the poppy in the middle. And you can pull it out a little bit and y'all, I mean just look at it. It's just gorgeous. And you know what? I think I put poppy in all of them. Let's just do that. Quit overthinking it. I remember I was watching a movie and I just, I, I spent three hours just coloring all these and I was just so happy with it when I was finished. Okay, so poppy parade in the inside and dang y'all, that's bright, is it not? But it, it ends up looking really cool when you're done. At first you're like, ah, that's crazy. Now, you're going to go 
really get that cleaned out. Poppy is, ooh, it's hard to, it's hard to manage because it's really bright. But look, it's gone. It's gone. And now we're going to get a good thin layer of Coastal Cabana. And this is what you're going to use for all your greenery, is this thin Coastal Cabana. Okay. It almost ends up looking like sea foam or, or really pool party to me. So you're just doing your greenery with the Coastal Cabana. Cool. Oh, there's a couple more greeneries there. I say greenery. They're cabanery. Okay. Cool. I think we got all those. And it's kind of hard for y'all to see. Let's put my, um, let's put this down on white so y'all can see that better. Okay. And then we're going to come in with our dark friend. And that is Blackberry Bliss. Okay. What you're going to do to pick up this ink is take your ink pad, squeeze it really hard in the middle, and open it. Okay. And then you're going to just pull that out. Now, I did not squeeze a lot of water out because I want this to be really dark. So on these little flowers, I'm pulling in this Razzleberry. It's just going razzle dazzle. I'm going to put some on this little flower here. And then I'm going to put just on these, on the flowers that go around with the purple, I'm going to get some dark areas, but not all dark areas. Okay. And then this guy, I'm going to darken a little bit of it. It's that really bold, dark, makes it look so cool. And looking over here at the picture, I didn't put a lot of dark of the Razzleberry there. So I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to squeeze and dab. I'm going to come back in here with the Razzleberry. And it ends up being like a light purplish. And that's going to go into all my empty spaces here. I'm going to leave a little bit of empty space on these three because I'm going to come back with a surprise that you wouldn't have guessed. But you're just kind of filling in a lot with your Razzleberry here. Razzleberry. And I meant to leave a little bit of those open, and you'll see why. Because the last color we're going to pull into here, flip that over for y'all, is pumpkin pie. So we're going to squeeze and dab to clean that out. It looks like our new aqua painters will be similar to these as far as how they operate, but we'll see. Oh, we got some on order. And we're just filling in a little bit of the edges here with this pumpkin pie. Just popping it in here and there. It's just kind of delicious, is it not? I love color, and when I saw that card, I was like, ah! have to make it. And because of doing swaps, I have to make 10. All right. Um, make sure I'm happy with it. Make sure there's no like areas that are, you, if you don't love like the like boldness of that, you can put a little orange over it, which I think is cool. Okay. That is done. Hey, Rick. Good to see you. I'm just making this garages watercolor card. Now, I'm going to go ahead and build this on our white strip so you can see how it's built. And at this point, you're going to glue dot central. Okay. So you've got your bottom layer. And you are just going to put glue dots all around. 
There's lots of places to put glue dots. I did not put it down with um, like an adhesive because I like the way that it kind of doesn't adhere all around the card. I think it gives it a little bit more visual interest. Um, I didn't want it stuck down to the card like a, I don't know. I just didn't want it all the way stuck. I did that on purpose. And then, did I do that? Yeah, I did that backwards. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. You just have to line it up. And make sure before you start painting that your, your two layers are going in the same direction. Now, this is still a little wet, so this may be challenging. I'm going to use, um, this is the way I did it. You're going to pull the glue dot off with your scissor. And I just put it in the middle of all, I hope y'all can still see this. Okay. Can you? Yeah. In the middle of all your little guys. So one in the middle of each flower. And I, I you'll notice that the little doohickeys stay in those flowers. You could fuss them out if you want, but I like them like being in there. So I didn't try to get them out. Um, and they, some of them popped out, some of them came in, whatever. All right, so now you're ready. To layer. So you're just sticking that down like so. These just, you just kind of have to readjust those but you can kind of line your center of your flowers over your center of every flower. And when it's dry, you can actually just take the whole card and kind of smash it. But I like it this way to where it's not completely stuck down. Um, voila, okay. Now the last thing you're gonna do is take a little strip and stamp it with your memento. I like it just being black on white because that is like, doesn't detract from the gorgeousness of the card. And you're going to pop that up with a dimensional, which I have covered up. So pretend like that's, that's stuck on with a dimensional. Boom, and you're done. Cool? So here's the story of this card. It is definitely a card that you could make as a happy shopper. Thank you, Tina. If you are wanting to get a good deal, then the starter kit is the way to go tonight because the bundle is free, okay? So remember, you get to pick a free bundle with your starter kit. So your bundle could be Blossoms in Bloom, which means you're gonna get the stamp set and the dies. And the dies are just phenomenal, which I've just showed you. You're gonna get, you can also pick Thick Whisper White Paper, an embossing folder, aqua painters, watercolor paper, ink pads, all the ink pads. Even without the watercolor paper, that'll get you up to 90 something dollars. You still have, um, you can spend $125 for only 99 and no shipping. So that's a no brainer tonight. Um, and this, this is just for the month of June, um, a starter kit special. So don't wait and get it then, get it now because I do expect some of these more popular stamp sets to go on back order. So um, that's about all I have for tonight. I appreciate you hanging in there. I knew that would take a while because we're going through the whole catalog. And the last thing I want to tell you is that orders that are $40 or more with me this week will get a free in a uh, new catalog embellishment. I don't know which one yet because they're also, um, volatile with the back orders that you'll just get a surprise. Okay, you guys. Thank you. Bye.